The bargains we make, we gladly look the other way. Oberon, however, demands that we should stop all dealings with them unless they meet certain standards. Fair. Those merchants, Commander, those warlords, they aren't worthy of their titles. Huh. Falstaff seems. Huh. Falstaff seems to imply you owe him something, Commander, but it's quite. I know the kind of rotten souls Falstaff is referring to, Commander. And when men they're like exploit their servants, it's always the imps that have to bear the worst of it. No. So it's fair trade then, is it? Suit yourself, Commander. But you'll go all kinds of green around the gills when you find out the price increases this Nambi Pambi skeet. I don't care really. Edmund. You'll be glad to know, Commander, that I followed your advice. Despite the tactless treatment I received from Lord Larratcher, I was the very picture of gallantry at a dinner thrown in my honor by darling Elizabeth, during which I amazed them all by my command of elf etiquette in the ancient tongue. Nice. As the evening drew to a close and the ladies retired to the music room, the Lord poured me a brandy and apologized for his ill-chosen words uttered during previous occasions. I, thus I am the one most amazed, for never would I have thought myself capable of enjoying the company of others, let alone non-lizards. Huh. Love yeah. conquers all, if you'll forgive the platitude. I went to have a word with Elizabetha, wanting to warn her about Edmund. And indeed all men. <laughs> but from what I hear, he's been quite the gentleman. Always have I regarded that word to be a contradiction in terms. But Edmund is trying hard to prove me wrong. Where? What a victory! I feel positive. I went to have okay. a word with Elizabetha. Yet again, which he's a slimy git. It's a little slimy git, okay. What can he use research points for? I don't need it. Like, at all. Wait. 